Hello everyone, it's nice to be back. We're now in chapter 2 of our lecture in practical research 2, quantitative research entitled Identifying the Inquiry and Stating the Problem. I'm your lecturer, Dr. Christopher Raymond S. Castillo. So our learning objectives in this lesson is that the learner should be able to design a research useful in daily life. So this is in lesson 1. Uh, number two objective would be write a research title so you should be ready in formulating your problem in order for you to write your research title which is uh, we will be discussing this in lesson two number three uh, the learners will be able to uh, describe background of research and how you will formulate your background of research or the background of the study which is part of your chapter one in your research output Number five and uh, number four is state research questions. Uh, this is one of the most difficult uh, part of your research in stating a research question. Actually, I consider this as the blood flow of your research because all research questions should have to be included or reflected in the different chapters of your research output, starting from chapter one, chapter two, three, four, and five. And they should have to be synchronized with one another. And number five, indicate scope and delimitation of the study. So you should know what are different parts of your scope and delimitation study. Actually, there are three basic parts. Okay, so the objective of your research, uh, the research local, and the period of your study. So you should know how to formulate it. And number six, uh, the learners will be able or shall be able to cite the benefits and beneficiaries of the study. So this is also found in chapter 1, which is the significance of your study. And the last one, the last lesson in chapter 2 is present a written statement of the problems. So chapter 1, lesson 1. So the title is Designing a Research Useful in Daily Life. <coughs> so you must have already deduced from your reading. Exercises done, further studies completed in research one, which is the qualitative research in your grade 11. That research is as good as it's seeking answers to questions or even solutions to problems of daily living. Better yet, research is as good as it's finding answers or solves the real world phenomena. As we all know, and we can agree that research greatly affects our society and the lives of each one of us each day of our lives. The way we perceive the world, the way we experience relationship with others, the way society organize the government, and a lot more influence the ever-expanding frontiers of knowledge. So for us to make sense of our world and even our own lives, we need to do research. Okay? So the, the different branches of knowledge or disciplines as well as corporations government organizations, non-government organizations, is in search for answers to phenomena. So that's why, this is the reason why we do research. So I hope that you will embrace, okay, and love the subject research. Because right after senior high school, when we go to college, when you study in master's degree, okay, and in doctorate degree, research is unending. It is a continuous process. You will always be doing research as if you if you wanted to improve, not only as a person, but you wanted to improve in your profession. So these are the possible research topics related to daily life. So number one is the old age old problems and poverty alleviation. Actually, this is already a century centuries old problems, not only here in the Philippines, but worldwide so that's why we have this what we call pantawid familia program or the poor peace which was spearheaded and approved by the government under the governance of uh, president moinoy aquino and this was continued until now and it is fully expand and uh, it is further expanded no, as a program and we have also the problems regarding unemployment so probably you can ask why is it that there are a lot of people that doesn't have any jobs so most probably one of the reasons or causes behind would be uh, lack of education they were not able to graduate 
in high school or in college. That's why they are unemployed. Okay. Another one is homelessness. Same as with uh, one of the uh, controversial and trivial uh, problems, not only here in the Philippines but around the world, which is the gender equality. One of the problems here is the um, very controversial uh, same-sex marriage. Okay, we also have the population aging, child care, you know, uh, development of the youth, all forms of violence in our society, especially drugs related crimes or violence like for example um, robbery, theft, all of those things um, uh, and of course we have the online or cyber crimes uh, one example here is the um, data privacy law okay, the traffic situation in the country you know, are the programs in or by the, D the, by the MMDA in Metro Manila effective or not and what are the reasons uh, behind why is it not yet improving particularly in part of EDSA okay and of course in the different areas of our country as well as uh, particularly in cities so we also have this what we call preservation and protection of the environment uh, we have a lot of problems regarding waste management and until now we do not know how to segregate waste and what are the reasons behind all well, you can see or you can look through those problems okay the livelihood projects entrepreneurial ventures okay healthcare uh, particularly right now our resilience in uh, responding to the pandemic you know, of the COVID-19 and as well as uh, social security and there are a lot more that have been investigated from several angles but seemingly authorities have come up with mere band aid solutions in our government like for example the Pantawid Pamilya program so to alleviate the growing menace in Metro Manila traffic it has caused on the people's sanity the economy the industry and the like we usually do experiments and more experiments each day in search for the best solutions to these problems Another example is the BAUSI, no? the RA or the Republic Act 9262. It's called the Anti-Violence Against Women and Children, which is very common nowadays, no? domestic violence against their wives, their um, uh, girlfriends, no? or to the children. So another one is the final stop of the approval of the senior citizens increase in the SSS pension so is it effective how is it uh, how does the people contributing to the SSS get affected now with this kind of program by the government so this you can come up with uh, researches like this one now focusing on these problems suffice it to say that one of the keys to a better life health well-being individual national and global prosperity and well-being is doing research no organization big or small will approve or implement any program or action without well done research back up a valid and reliable found findings so approaching problems from the interdisciplinary point of view and sharing knowledge gathered in different areas has remained a big challenge to researchers so the most innovative research is the kind that operates on areas between different disciplines so this gives rise to a new interactive model whereby practical research raises new theoretical questions which gives rise to further research. So for example, where clinical trials are concerned, research is a legal requirement for pharmaceutical companies to obtain marketing authorizations. It's like for example, you wanted to sell a drug or a soap. A bleaching soap or a beauty soap or probably a uh, an alcohol or any food products it should have to be with approval of the FDA before you will be able to sell it in the market so moreover carefully organized research enables researchers to consider external factors which might influence research results that's why we already discussed this in chapter one that we need to increase the internal validity of research and reduce the external factors as well 
So for example, for concluding, concluding that green tea is good for X, Y, or Z, or, or person 1, person 2, or person 3, it is important to ensure that the tea drinkers do not have something else other than drinking tea. In common, no, as such, as being more physical active and than non-tea drinkers or being vegetarians, which might equally affect findings. So that's why in here we already discussed the control validity, I uh, control variable. That's why we need to control those variables that will affect our uh, results of this study or the findings of this study. So dedicating our lives to research means okay, making, studying, and experiment our profession. With this to say, these activities lead to the acquisition of more knowledge.